Brings out the inner kid in you. Right. Mommy, what are you going to be doing out here? Rolling down the hill. Yeah. Let's <laughs>
peace and joy. We declare over our children and students that 2018 is going to be their best year to date, full of God's favor, provision, and guidance. We declare for all of us in 2018 that we're going to walk in a new level of forgiveness. That we won't bring the sins, the mistakes, the failures of 2017 or any remote past into 2018. Instead, we will receive the free gift of forgiveness from our Heavenly Father. I declare 2018 freer from addictions, from those chains that bind us, that in the name of Jesus, we will be set free. And I declare that the Word of God is going to be fulfilled in our lives because He said, by His stripes, we were healed. I declare restoration and hope over the people in the city of Houston. I declare what Zechariah 9, 12 says, when it says, return your fortress, you prisoners of hope. For I announce you today that I will return double what you had before. I declare you will have faith over fear in 2018. I declare that God is loading you daily with benefits in 2018. I declare what was hard in 2017 will be easy in 2018. I declare God is restoring your finances. He's restoring your health. He's restoring your relationship in the name of Jesus. I declare today that if you face sorrow in 2017, that sorrow may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Church was amazing. As always, Joel had all of the leaders from all the different ministries at our church speak their own declarations over the church, which is one of the first times he's done that, and I really, really enjoyed it. What he preached about today was expecting God to exceed your expectations for 2018, and it was just a really good message. And then he blessed us with this today. It's um, I declare 31 promises to speak over your life. So he usually gives us this every year, but it's usually in a CD format where you can listen to it. But I'm really good it's in a book format because obviously, who really has a CD player? I mean, unless you're in your car and I'm not in my car every morning anymore. So this will be really good. I'll just put it in my tote bag and have it with me every day. So I'm looking forward to enjoying this. Only right after church, you take yourself to brunch. I miss doing this. This was like my Sunday ritual. Go to church, come over here to one of my favorite spots to have brunch by myself. It would be like my Sunday like meditating time. Just like me, myself, and I, and some good food. Vintage Park, y'all. This is uh, just a nice little neighborhood area. It has a whole bunch of houses, townhomes, condos, and then this nice shopping center area in the middle with a whole bunch of restaurants. Pele Pele, if y'all ever come to Houston, this restaurant is nominated number one over and over and over again. But I'm going right here to Coco's Crates. They have the best crates ever. And then this restaurant right over here, Mia Bella's Secretaria, I used to work there a few years back. Hello, Good welcome morning. to Coco. Good morning. Can I have, thank you, can I have the cocoa green smoothie? Okay, it's I'll take a one. large. Yeah. And then can I have the chicken and spinach savory crepes? Okay, just one? And then can I have, yeah, just one. And can I have extra sauce on this extra side? Sauce. Yes. That's, that's going to be everything. Okay, it's going to be for a Go oh, here, please. Thank you so much. Lunch is served. Chicken spinach savory crepe with a wild mushroom sauce. And I got me some green smoothie. Yum, 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 yum. Out here with the mother at a listing appointment. I just decided to tag along to spend some mommy daughter day. And now we're about to go, I think, to go see where my parents are trying to move to. is 
in the potential new neighborhood. It's really nice, far away, but that's what they want. So he said he just he has five million dollars of inventory homes. I think that created a question mark. We are also realtors. Oh, good. Cool. All three of us. Oh, really? um, you guys don't really build to order, so to speak? Not at all. Okay. Oh, well, I elevation the real, I do, one. yeah, I do too. Who's gonna back out of that garage? Not Junior. <laughs> Not Junior. <laughs> yeah, this half acre gives you this driveway. It's a real driveway. Yeah, we're entering the wayside. Okay, like this some more already. The computer next right up front. Here's the garage. There's your office you're talking about. Yeah, here's the garage. Here's the garage. Here's the garage. This kitchen isn't bad, mommy. It's just not right in your face. Yeah. And we can make this into our office. Yeah, you need to put a... Huh? I'm sweating now. Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> But you can make it into one, the one that's facing, facing the front yard, that room back there. Listen, that block here about flat. This brings out the inner kid in you. Right. Mommy, what are you going to be doing out here? Rolling down the hill? Yeah, boy. Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi, this is exercise right here. That's exactly like, what the little girl did. Uh, Come run back up. That's the hard part. Do it, do it five times. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Go to the gym. That's what keep your youth right there. That's right. I just do that. Get your quads. There you go. You like this grill, Junior? It'll get the job done? It'll get the job done. Yeah. Yeah. I still would need to put up my regular wood one. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Put it on that side. Oh, I bit, really put it back. Put it over. Well, not by the window. Not by the window, but. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's good for Junior's backing out skills, though. Huh? I don't think that's good for Junior's backing out skills. Can we have to back up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Get back in. <laughs> what? He got to back out now? I but I mean, at least in. this one, you don't have to turn. Now when you got to turn. Oh, you mean if we use one for the office, then Yeah. Oh. oh. Or, yeah, put them in the one that you just go straight back. Okay. This is the same size as the the king size. Same size as the other one, babe. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a closet. Yeah, it's a game room upstairs. So it's not like y'all are forced to go up there. This is the master and then the washroom and the garage. His and hers. Tub, shower. Did you say you need more closet? Commode. I guess this is just a section right here. That's a big mm -hmm. closet. This is your section. At the front, like always. Oh, this oh, this, you know, you might, you know. You sure you got enough room? Not really. There's always other 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 closets. Yeah, we can Whether share. Summer. Me and you, mother. There's no me and me, me and you, daughter. <laughs> There's no we. There's no we in this equation. It's me and Reese. Talk us up, man. Yeah. 
Mother, <laughs> that's so mean. You don't want to get rid of me. The office is up here. Yes. Overlooks. Well, the game room. We call it an office. <laughs> we like it. Sold. So what do y'all think? I mean, it's cute. This builder is as is. They don't, they, what you see is what you get, which is not very common in builders. But for whatever reason, my parents fell in love with this neighborhood and my mother loves this house. Good morning, everybody. So I'm supposed to be going back to New York today, but I'm not going because this one, um, something's wrong with my baby. So I'm gonna take him to the vet today. So I PTO'd a few days of work. I'm gonna take him to the vet and make sure that everything is okay before I leave for a few more weeks. I don't know what's going on with them, but you know, it's just like, <laughs> everybody hates when I compare dogs to kids, but you know, like if something's wrong with your kid, like especially a baby and they can't talk, but you know something's wrong with them. It's just the same as my dog. I know something is wrong with him. And I hear it snowing in New York again. And I'm just really trying to avoid that as well. Thank you all for watching this vlog. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Update. I really think my dog is playing games with me. So for the past two days, he hasn't been wanting to come up the stairs or like get in the bed. Like anything that makes him like elevate, like go upwards. He hasn't been wanting to do it, so I've been thinking something is wrong with him, like, I don't know what though. And then last night, he jumped on the bed, and it took him like five minutes to just jump. He's eight years old, he knows how to jump on the bed. And when he jumped, he screamed, like, you know, like something was hurting him. So I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, we'll take you to the doctor in the morning. Now, he's acting just fine. Like, he knows, like, I feel like he's playing tricks with me, so I will stay here and not leave. What y'all think? Should I just stay? Because he's going up the stairs fine now. Like, I was just rubbing on his little belly, showing him some love, you know, doing things that good parents do when they have a sick child. And now, nothing is wrong with him. Nothing. I'm like, okay, dog. <laughs> All right, Aston. I got